Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of my Pokemon Y playthrough. In this episode we're going to be, you know, probably challenging the Santa Luna gym. We'll have to see. First off though we have to clear this route. We have to finish it up. I've been back and healed up so we can now just go ahead and challenge her. Come on Goldine, let's show them what we're made of. You have not understood a word of that. <laughs> you have not understood a word of that at all. Last Ellen. Let's go. Goldine. As you would expect. It's looking pretty awesome. And we have Leah. Come on, we got this Leah. Tackle. Oh yeah. The gold look the gold is looking pretty smooth there. Moving around like yeah, I got this. I got this left right up down. Oh yeah. And again, Leah. Another tackle. Almost there. Tail whip. Yep, there is Goldine whipping its tail. <laughs> it's being... Oh, it's very slow now, though, Goldine, you see, because it's, you know, a bit injured. And now it's going to faint. Opposing Goldine fainted. And level up for Leah. It's going to learn Gust. Oh, yeah, Gust. And Marrow's up next. I think I'm going to switch out to Vivo now, because uh, Leah is getting a high level in Vivo. Oh my god, this music is so awesome. As you might be able to tell, I'm still a bit hyper about the games. <laughs> Stun Spore. Tackle. Nasty. Stun Spore, go for it. Oh my god, we have not... We've hit one successful Stun Spore, stun spore this whole playthrough. And it was when we accidentally used the move as well. There is Marrow's tail wheeling or whipping, I guess you could say tail whip, so he whips the tail, but he actually just waggles it from side to side. It should be called tail waggle. Hmm. Ow. Go away, Marrow. If you'd just been paralyzed like you should have, we wouldn't be in this mess. Aha, uh -huh, owned. Okay, we'll switch out now to Chespin. Chester the Chespin. There we go. There we go. Another tail whip, lovely. But now we can use Levine Whip. Goodbye, Marrow. Oh yeah. Someone's got owned. It was you. Level 11. Want to learn bite? <laughs> Definitely learn bite. Get rid of tackle for it. Chessman doesn't really seem like they want to bite though. Yeah, oh well, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Vivo leveled up to level 8. And last Ellen was defeated. Goldie and Meryl, I'm so sorry. I'll get you both healed up right away at the Pokemon Center. And let's just quickly switch Viva out to the front. And what else is happening on this route? Another person here. Okay. Right. So there's a right horn course up there. Cool. Trainer tips. We're good. Let's go for it. Is Pokemon Battling just a hobby to you, or do you want to become a pro? Nah, a bit both. Bit of both. Rising Star Loik. Riolu. Ooh. Haha. -ha. It's looking awesome. Very awesome, Riolu. And we're just going to switch straight out. Oops. To Leah. That's the best choice here. Huh? Boom, 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 boom. Counter. But it failed. Oh. Use Gust. Endure. Yeah, okay. I don't know if we're going to take it out anyway. Let's have a look, shall we? Gust's looking beastly there. Nope, we didn't take it out. But we should be able to this time. Ooh, used Foresight. Nah, not really going to help though. 
Congratulations, you found the Pidgey. And there we go. Boom. Goodbye, really. Level up for Leah. And level up for Vivo now. Okay, just experience Vivo. I'll be sure to learn from this defeat and improve myself. Of course you will. Of course you will. What's up next then? Another person in the grass? Or a person in the grass? You know what this is, right? It's the beginning of a Pokemon battle. Didn't realise how long this route was, so we might only get this route done. Schoolboy Rabby sent out Pidgey. Yay, Pidgey! I won't send out Pidgey v Pidgey, probably. Actually, I might do. Who do we send out? Do, 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 do. Yeah, Pidgey v Pidgey, because Vivo's not going to do very well. Uh, and neither is Chespin, or Chester. I keep saying Chespin. Tackle. Congratulations, Pidgey. Our Pidgey, however, knows Gust. So, joke's on you. Oh, we, oh, it knows Gust as well, okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a fail, what we are. Bit of a fail. Another Gust from us. And another Gust. No, tackle this time. Oh, it's mixing it up a bit. And we'll just go over tackle this time, yeah. Save some PP on the Gust. Even though it's not like we're going to have to use it all. There goes Pidgey. And we have a Metapod. Oh, lovely. Going to send Vivo out. Assuming it just knows hard and like the original sort of games. Um, we should be fine with Vivo, but I'm not sure. Might just switch back out to uh, Leer again. That Metapod's looking a bit weird, but I'll do with it. I suppose that is how it looks from the front. Wonder what move it's going to use. Tackle here. Yeah. So it does have some sort of other move than Harden. So gust it. Yeah, Metapod's looking really weird. <laughs> that looks better. That's the Metapod we know. We don't love it, but we know it. And there it goes. Level up for Vivo. Level 9. Will it evolve? Yes, we are. First evolution of the game. Looking awesome so far. Congratulations, your Vivo of only two, Spupa. Awesome. Vivo alone protect. Yay! <laughs> right, what have we got? Another battle, that's what we got. Go, go, Bonnaby, with this as a team. No, we will not. Schoolgirl Mackenzie. Bonnaby. There she is. And there is Spupa. Uh, probably just, yeah, Let's leave this one to Chespin. I don't know what level of Vivo is going to evolve at again. Possibly level 12, 11 or 12, maybe, I'm not sure. Could be, but no one really knows. Let's use Vine Whip, I guess, for the stab. Bonobi knows agility at this level, wow. It's <laughs> really quite strange. Oh, that did pretty decent damage. Wasn't even a critical hit either. Leering. Vine Whip, let's go. Hells yeah. Bonobi is down. Skull and Mackenzie was defeated. To tell you the truth, Bunnaby is the only Pokemon I've got. Well, I figured that, because it's the only battle with. <laughs> okay, what have you got? No? What's over here? 
Ooh, a new place, but I'm not going to go there quite yet. Let's have this battle first. I care less about battling than just showing off my awesome Pokemon to everyone. Very true indeed. We have Last Elsa. A Flabebe. Go on, Flabebe. 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 It's a uh, fairy type. So we can not have any strong moves against it. We can do that. <laughs> Search out the chest. Chester. I have to get the fairy types in my head, really, though. I have to figure out which is which. Or, like, uh, the effectiveness. I mean, what's good against it, what's bad against it, or what's good against etc. Fairy Wind. Nasty. Let's use... I think Bite Dark is super effective against it, isn't it? Damn it, it's not. You would expect the other way, wouldn't you? You'd expect, you know, Dark to be super effective against Fairy. But no, apparently not. Okay, then let's use. Let's go for a rollout. Oh dear. Vine Whip itself. Huh, lol. Let's use another rollout. And this time we should actually hit it. Oh yeah. Tackle. It's not doing much, and we should be able to finish it off with another rollout here now. Come on, Chester. Indeed he did. Walking flower and 103 and level up. Level 12. Las Elsa. Oh no, Flabibi, are you okay? It's not all my fault, I'm so sorry. Indeed, it is your fault. Water there, so nothing to do there. And hop. Woo, and what's over here? Hop! Item! A super potion! Yay! Hop! And this is Route 22, where we originally started. Um, and was there something to do up here at all? No, it didn't. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, just checking. So now we can actually go and challenge the gym, or begin challenging the gym. We won't finish it off in this episode, obviously. But at least we can get something started. And back to the Pokemon Center. In the doors. Yes, please. I would like to rest my Pokemon. And you can see them at the top. It's so awesome. Ah. Awesome. Thank you. That's fine. So hopefully we can get a speed put evolving into the villain at some point um, before the gym leader battle at least, because then it's a bug flying type might help us out. Hey stranger, it's cruising around. Isn't cruising around town your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me you don't even have, own a pair of roller skates? Then then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Yeah, sure. Let's battle. Whereas Pokemon Aurora states, speed is important. Didn't expect this to happen, so let's, yeah, let's go. We have Aurora Skater Rinka. Zigzagoon. Awesome battle stage march. We can go for a Stun's Bore. Come on, actually work this time. Work, yes, finally. That was an awesome attack sprite. Spupa's fur kind of like went up and outwards. That was cool. Tackle. <laughs> All my little like confetti on the edge goes off when I attack. It's a sad thing to happen. <laughs> Look, it's like this there, and we tackle, and they're gone. I know tail whip, brilliant. Tackling. And again. Now we tackle to me. He's reduced my defense quite a bit, so. Should have to watch out. But another tackle or two should finish him off. Yep, once more should do. And that would be Zigzagoon gone. Unfortunately, he's just used Growl though, so it might not be him gone. Nasty. There he is, gone. <laughs> I was right all along. 
Level 10. Awesome. Well, let's get a rinker. You ramped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. Indeed I did. Well, wow, that was amazing. You might even be stronger than the gym leader. Alright, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Matt obtained the roller skates. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto your shoes so you can glide your way around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get those wheels going. That's all there is to it. So go on, it's your turn. Try gliding about like me. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Look at this. Pretty damn decent. So I need to use... Okay. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for this episode of my Pokemon Y playthrough. In the next episode, we will finally get on to challenging the Santorini Gym, and hopefully, you know, defeat the gym leader and get a badge. So guys, thank you for watching, uh, you can leave your comments below, you can leave a like on the video if you want to, and if you want to, you can also subscribe for more videos. Bye guys!